Welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about statically typed language and dynamically typed language. So, what is statically typed language? If the data type of variable is known at compile time, then it is statically typed language. If the data type of variable is known at run time, then it is dynamically typed language. That is statically typed or dynamically typed. Comment down below. Okay, that support both static type as well as dynamic type. So it is called optionally type language. Let's see the demo and let's do the code. Okay, here you can see statically type and here you can also see the example. Let me copy this code. Okay, let me paste it here. Here you can see void main and we are declaring my variable my variable uh, whose data type is integer you can also write integer here integer my variable whose value is 50 again we are okay we are assigning value to my variable that is hello this is not possible how we can make it dynamic type so we can assign hello also okay we can assign hello by writing just dynamic keyword here dynamic if you write dynamic then it is accepted this is the example of dynamically type language and if i write integer this is the example of statically type language in this way you can perform action basically using statically type is very very recommended okay but in some situation you may also uh, need to use dynamic keyword and dynamically type okay let me write here integer then it will give us error let me run the code that types dot that okay here you can see a value of a string cannot be assigned to a variable type integer you cannot assign to a variable type integer basically uh, you cannot uh, assign a string to integer data type but if you write dynamic here then this is possible okay let's print the my variable dot runtime type okay and then let's print the my variable dot runtime type here also okay let us run the program here you can see first it is int okay at this point the type of my variable is integer at this point the type of my variable is a string because of this that is called optionally type language thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video if you have any question regarding that comment down below and i will see you in the next video thank you